This is Twit. Uh, Model Y announced this week it's a 300 mile range Model 3 doppelganger, according to TechCrunch, coming in fall 2020. We're 18 months out. Mm. The Model Y, Sam, we were talking about that earlier, is based mostly on the Model 3 platform, but it's yeah. a crossover. Yeah. So, I mean, like a lot of companies, you know, um, Tesla is basically taking the car and the cars, the car platforms they have and elevating it a little bit, you know, it's, and then, you know, putting a hatch on it and calling it a crossover. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think, you know, it's definitely the direction that Tesla needs to go. You know, I mean, if you look at the overall car market, you know, everybody's moving from sedans, you know, and coupes to, to crossovers. Um, I'm not sure that the particular form factor of this one is necessarily the right approach. You know, they, they're calling this a seven, you know, it's something that can hold seven adults, you know, as long as two of those adults are no more than four feet tall and don't, <laughs> don't have any are amputated at the knees. Um, you know, cause the, the shape, you know, it's, it's like the model X, you know, it's got kind of that fastback shape. So it's more like, you know, some of the, the uh, premium European SUV coupes like the BMW M6. Even on my Model like X, that. that third row, you if you yeah. you it's hard to sit there unless you're fairly yeah uh, <laughs> compact. I think it's interesting. I didn't know this. You told me that Elon has maxed out his uh, capacity at the Fremont plant, the old Numi plant that they bought, and he's going to be making this in Nevada at the Gigafactory. That's that's what they said during their last earnings call at the end of January. Um, you know, the, and that but that you know, assumes that between now and the time they launch the Model Y that they can actually sustain sales, the sales pace of the Model 3, uh, mm. which based on what we've been, reports we've been hearing over the first couple of months of the year, you know, sales are off significantly. They put, it looks like they pulled ahead a lot of sales into the fourth quarter. You know, people wanted to get them. Three before, is pretty before. successful though, right? It, it, it's definitely been By very successful. Measure. in Yeah, in, in 2018, you know, yeah. um, while it still had the full $7,500 tax credit. That's yeah. now been Oh, you cut think that's going to hurt the... Because the deal yeah, is, because you the, get a the tax price effectively went up by almost four thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah. Um, mm. And you know, so that's why they rushed out the the thirty five thousand dollar version. Right. Mm. Um, and now, you know, they have the because you know, if you look at the market as a whole, of you know, the shift from cars to utilities, um, you know, now that they've announced the Model Y, you know, are people going to say, well, you know, I don't think I don't I'm not, I'm not going to bother getting the three right now. I'll just wait till next year and get the Y instead. You know, so it mm -hmm. could have a little bit of Osborne effect there. Even more uh, than that, yeah. there's a lot of competition from yeah. normal car manufacturers, metal benders, uh, like Audi, Volkswagen. They've got a number of vehicles. You got that coming. Kia Nero EV sitting out there with yeah. 240 miles of electric range. It costs thirty-seven thousand hmm. dollars. That probably yeah. is going to hurt Tesla more than anything. When Tesla was the yeah. best choice out there, mm. it was pretty much the only the only real choice. choice. Yeah, yeah. That, except for Fisker like lower Karma. costs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, long short range cars. Uh, now, now you're getting affordable longer range EVs in the two two to three hundred mile range mm -hmm. uh, area, and so they're they're going to have a ton of competition. They've already got a lot more competition now than they had a year ago, and there's going to be a lot more a year from now.